Hey guys, it's Chris. What's up? And today we're going to be installing the Nest Thermostat E on a regular old household thermostat. So here we are with the Nest. We're going to do a quick unboxing so we can see what is in the packaging. tab here. I guess it's warranty sticker or something. Okay, so inside the unit, nice packaging. You get the unit itself, some instructions, and a quick, quick terminal. This just says to turn the power off to the heating and cooling before installing. I did not and what is this? Some cheesy wall plate or something? Are there any screws? Ah, the screws are in the edge of the packaging here. One and two. So don't throw this packaging away without removing your screws and ah, they're sharp. So that's it. Two screws. A plate for mounting. I guess you could leave this on here if you wanted to. I don't know if you should. I guess you could do it like that because it does click in. That kind of looks stupid, I think. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm not even seeing that. This clicks onto here. Uh, for me, this is just going on my wall. And this would click in. It has a level, a little level in there, so you make sure it's nice and level. The circuit would click into this. And then boom, you're done. So let's uh, get the wires removed. And this is a traditional four wire. So what you're gonna need to do first is go to nest.com and check to make sure that your thermostat is compatible with the Nest Learning or the Nest E. I learned a little bit today that there is no technological difference between the Nest Thermostat E and the Learning uh, Series 3 at this date in late November 2018, except it has a sensor that detects you farther away and lights up, but apparently that only works for like a year, so you're better off saving the now $100 and getting the Nest Thermostat E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off so we can see the wiring and I will show you what wire is what and how to wire up the new thermostat. And here is my thermostat removed and you can see there are four wires, a white which is for heat and that is labeled W, the Y which is right here for cooling, the green which is your fan and R right here which is your 24 volt uh, common, I mean, I'm sorry your 24 volt uh, AC power. Now on some this blank terminal here you might have a C, and the C is for common, and a lot of the digital thermostats require a common. But you're going to notice when I remove these wires that the coloring, I actually have a fifth wire which is blue, and I believe it could be black on a common also. Um, but I'm going to use my blue wire for the common, and I can wire the blue wire to the common terminal downstairs on the uh, integrated furnace control for my unit. So I'm going to remove these screws and these wires and we're going to mount the plate for the nest. Alright, so with my wires removed, I just removed the plate and the two screws from the wall. They had the little quick mount plasticky things in them and I just removed the wires, W, Y, G, R, and I have this extra one that was tucked in my wall. This is blue. Uh, this could be black on yours if you have a common. I'm going to use this as a common because a lot of times the Nest thermostat will ask for common and that would be the C over here. So these are just quick tabs. You just put the wires through and they have a quick release where you depress the button, slide the wire in and let go. That's simple. And uh, you can mount this right on your wall and maybe because of my ugly hole in the wall and this thing won't line up when I put all these through Let's see how the plate would look. It'll sit on here like this. 
and it won't quite cover up that ugly hole on the other side so I guess I will be using the uh, the plate so I guess you gotta put the plate on first all your wires through I'm using five wires you can use four with this and then I will put this on like this shoving them all through now I'll shove all the wires back in their respective holes once I get them in shove in there and then we'll use the little level to put our plate on and then I guess we screw it right in so there we sit with the wiring all in you can see it's just color coded there my common sticking out a little bit but you see how they're depressed when they're in uh, my R whoa looks like it's hanging out a little bit so I'll have to fix that now I do have to put my common on so here we are in my basement uh, we are going to work on the IFC so I'm turning the switch off for power and we're under these two screws And this panel will come off. This is also where you replace your air filter. And the panel of it is right in the front. So this will just remove. And here are where the thermostat comes in. You will notice right here, I have this blue wire hanging. And right here is, is common. So that C is common. R, W, G, Y. And the red goes to... The compressor, these are the outside controls. The C would be the 24 volt switch power. And the R would be the constant power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my blue wire here. Whoops. My blue wire here that we connected upstairs to that common. That'll light the unit up. So I have to put the camera down for that because I need to strip this wire off and screw it in. So there you go. The blue wire is on the common. And there's the original white to the outside switch so now we're going to put our panel back on turn our power back on and the upstairs unit should light up so here we go the nest home is lit up and it is searching so we will use our cell phone now to download the nest app and configure it it's still booting and doing its thing it's waiting for me i didn't download anything it just took a second to boot so you get this dialogue so we're going to english us touch okay confirm your choice uh, we're going to do internet connection, connect, get off my wireless, alright, so it is connecting, units online, the, unit, the thermostat will update later, okay, we're a single family home, this thermostat is in the living room and the equipment I am a Nest Pro I am a homeowner uh, here's what we got so we got the cool the fan the power the heat the 24 volt common continue your system has heating cooling and fan correct your source of for heating is gas you have, I have, uh, you can choose, I have forced air, uh, the temperature, Nest should begin heating or cool, should Nest begin by heating or cooling your home, save energy, uh, continue, heat to eco temperature, so we want, whoa, we want to go up, heat to, I'm just going to put it to 70 right now. And cool to off right now. Done. 
Okay, system test. Your test is test. Uh, we'll test it now. We're going to test heating. Testing the heat on here. I'm going to take a few minutes. Let me check. We're not going to turn on a schedule right now. We're just going to do basic. It'll start you off with an efficient schedule. Whatever. Fine. Finish. So right now it's 68 degrees in this house because it was off for a little while. I did download the Nest app and when you sign up, you basically add it. It gives you a code and you type the code in and it pairs the two. So I could actually control this by turning the, oh my gosh, it's apparently touch screen. No, 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 not 79. I'm going to turn it to 70, okay, in a half hour. I don't know. Inside humidity, 37, uh, temperature, 31 degrees outside, in a half hour, I don't know, so we're just going to, whoa, well, we're going to turn it to heat, we're going to turn it to 70 and press it, there we go, uh, I don't know, okay, fine, and uh, now on the app, which gives you more controls than this, you can do schedule, you can turn the fan on, you can turn it on economy mode, or you can hit mode right now, and say I want it on heat, or heat and cool, or off. If I turn off, it will just turn this off. Off. If I say mode heat, set the temperature to 70, goes to 70. And that's it for the Nest app. Uh, two minutes and 50 seconds, the heat should come on. And you could also control this by turning it up a little bit. So, in 30 minutes, we'll do 71. We're not going to say in 25 minutes. We're going to tell it just to do it. I am holding this camera with my foot while I use my phone with both hands. And hopefully I pressed record. So we're going to basically tell it off. And then we're going to go mode, heat, 71. Seventy-one, and now two minutes forty-five seconds. That's it. So I'm actually going to close my Nest app, and I'm going to link my Nest to my Wink account, which is linked to Google to Google Home. Oh, look, it's holding itself. All right. So I'm adding my account. Great. Okay. Allow, and now my Wink will be on. I mean, my Nest will be on my. Wink Hub, and I can add that to Google Home, and even though this is an iPhone, I have all the Google Home Minis around my house to control all my devices. There's the heat, it's on 71. There is the Nest app on the thermostat, on my Wink app, and if I go back, you can see all my devices for from electrical to water leak sensors which started all this to a valve for my plumbing and now the heat so I'm gonna go into my Google Home and add that to that and we're gonna see oh they changed the Google Home app bucket economy mode you know I want this off whoops you dummy Done. Home Assistant away. Nest Sense. Reminders. Wake display when you pass by. When you press, when you pass by. Okay. Click sound on. Reset. Done. So I don't know if this one senses everything, but we'll see. So I finally got the thing linked up. And I just realized I talked for a couple minutes and I didn't even uh, say anything. So now if you move in front of it, the light comes on. And I got it linked finally to my, uh, my Google Home. I had it in already, but it was coming up as, uh, as Celsius. So I had to re-add it directly to Google Home, not through Wink. I just removed it from Wink because I can either use the direct app for it which is just a simple nest app which gives you the thermostat control or you can do google home which is what i use and then boom 
that's it so I could set things here but I set it up in Google Home so I can go hey Google set the temperature to 75 okay setting the living room to 75 degrees hey Google set the temperature to 71 okay setting the living room to 71 degrees so there you go and it's on until 1030 I don't know I have to figure that out because I'll be in bed by then so that's pretty much how you set up the Nest thermostat E and I hope this helps you understand what you need to do and wiring wise it's pretty simple I did have to use the mounting plate because I had a crappy hole and I might have to put some little plastic little toggle holders behind the screws in the future but for now I'm just gonna enjoy it and uh, it's on sale right now for $139 at Lowe's um, if you are a Lowe's member and you have a Lowe's a my Lowe's card not the credit card but just the my Lowe's secret club card you get an additional 15 percent off and if you do have a Lowe's credit card which I do and that's how I paid for this uh, you get an additional 5% on top of that. So that's 20% off of the already reduced price of $139. So it's about $115 uh, right now. And that's it, guys. So I hope that helps you uh, understand and learn a little bit on how to set this up. And I will do a further review on the programming, scheduling, and other neat things that it has. So hey, thanks for watching and have a great one.